welcome everybody to Majora's Mask, part number 16. I'm Cow's Crazy, and as you just saw, we're on the dawn of the final day, and we're going to be heading into the mountains today. Normally, most people would have, uh, oh, I missed the entrance to the mountains, didn't I? It's back this way, whoopsie doodle. Normally, when I see an LP of this, most people would, um, we set time, but uh, I figured why waste a final day? Why waste a cycle? We can do this on the third day. I'm not gonna run into any trouble. Knock on wood. <laughs> so here we go. Go up this ramp, and there is the one thing keeping you from entering the mountains beforehand. Ice. So how do you get it? Well, you hit that piece of ice that looks like a big penis with an arrow, it falls down. I said it falls down. Do you have to hit it twice? Yeah. Maybe you have to hit it twice. It falls down, and it breaks the other ice. It's that easy. It doesn't get much easier than that. And now we enter this little walkway. And I hate this little area. This area of the game really sucks. It's full of cactites, and snowballs, and... I don't know, I just don't like it around here. Luckily, there's not really much reason to ever be around here later on in the game, so... Yeah. Thanks to warp stones, there's no real reason to ever be around here. Um, I think blowing up these... Yeah, you can't blow up these snowballs with your bombs. At least I think you can, yeah. I forget if any of them do anything. Probably not too much. But you do have to blow up these snowballs, obviously. To get this far, yet again. Not only do you have to have arrows, but you gotta have bombs. These are all just little things to make sure you have equipment to advance up here. That's basically what this entire section is about. Section of the game. I don't know. I just don't like it here. I just don't like it here. Mountain village ahead. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Gorons should be able to break the snow boulders easily. Well, good for Gorons. Um, there's some snow up here. I think, I mean snowballs up here. For some weird reason. I get the feeling I'm... I can't remember why I'm supposed to. Okay, that's a heart. I don't know. This is probably completely unimportant, but I felt like this was important for some reason. And it's not. Hmm. Just a weird reaction that I felt like those snowballs were important, but they're not. They're not important at all. Just ignore that. Just pretend I didn't do that at all. Just wasting more time. So here, here it is. This is the mountain village. I don't know why they call it a village. This isn't a village at all. Like, it's just one shack, and he's not even really a house, it's actually a, um, it's actually a smithy's house, which we'll learn much more about later on. Mountain smithy ahead, we sharpen your sword. We work hard, so your sword works hard for you. Speaking of hard, I'm pretty damned hard right now. Ho ho ho! Whoa! Up here, up here! Do they have a frog on his head? I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I am very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. You're a fucking Goron, man. Just jump down. It's not that far, man. Like, seriously, I uh, I can jump off, like, freaking cliffs and only lose, like, a heart of damage. Like, come on, dude. Let's go. Get it done. Owl statue? Swipe it. And that is why you'll never have to go through that section again. Because, well, you can warp. And warping is good. So anyways, there's not much to do here right now. Um, what's this? Deep water. Gorons beware. Gorons who can't swim shouldn't play near here. And I don't know any Gorons that can swim. But that indicates maybe they can learn. But as far as you know... They can't swim. So let's continue on this way. We got another sign. What's the sign say? Go on, village ahead. Beware, white wolfos. Ooh, beware the white wolf. Oh, the white wolf, the white wolf. He is so scary. 
actually he's not. The white wolf is not scary. I fear no white wolf. White wolf. Uh, we could just run past him, but you know, I'll, I'll face, I'll face him. I'll take him on. There we go. Stab him in the back like a coward. And we get Tingle. Oh, and I, but I got no money. You want fuck you, Tingle? I forgot I put my money in the bank. I forgot I put my money in the bank. So I was gonna buy the map for this area from him, but then I realized I got no money. Maybe if I get some money, I'll come back, Tingle. But for now, fuck you. We're out up there. You know, you put your balloon up there. So it's your problem now. Anyways, here's the Goron village. And it is so snowy. Just like it is outside right now. Holy cow, the snow's coming down. We're getting a lot of snow around here this winter, which is surprising. Usually we don't get that much. But, um, yeah, we're getting a lot of snow. It's all good. Uh, and look at who it is. Oh, goody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Is that the edge? No, that's not the edge. We can go, yeah, we can jump down there. You can jump down there. You're safe. You're safe. You're good. Hoot hoot. We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land, as I expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever! It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. Um, no I won't. And stop calling me surely. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. So will you proceed? Mm, sure. Hoo hoot. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying towards that shrine across the way. So follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. Follow my nose! <laughs> well, uh, you're, you're an owl, not a toucan. Follow your nose. Anyways, you can see his feathers here. They're going to fall down. And they... Whoa! Invisible blocks. There are invisible blocks here. You just have to believe. Fuck. Okay. You just have to believe. Well, shit. What's going on here, dude? Come on. Okay. Oh, oh crap. Now they're disappearing. Oh, huzzah. Okay, hold it. I missed. I missed. Now I'm never gonna make it across. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, just, 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 just go. Okay, I gotta be quicker than this, because, yeah, the feathers do disappear. I don't know how feathers disappear. Like, if they got blown off, that'd be different, but... Okay. Would you stop slipping and sliding? Because that's the problem here. That's the problem here. Okay. Just, just, just cut it out. Stupid camera. Whoa. And boom. There we go. Hoo hoo. I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. And we will never see his rotten ass again. That's it. That's it for the damn owl. He's gone for the rest of the game. Thank God. Whew. The last appearance of that owl. I don't know why he doesn't come back. There would obviously be points in this game where he could come back, but I don't know. Maybe they just forgot about him? 
Well, whatever. As you can see, there's a treasure chest here. We'll open it in a moment. I was hoping there's money in here. There doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be any monies here. What the hell? There's an invisible enemy in here? Well, he can die. There seems to be absolutely no money in here. Invisible things? Invisible blocks? Invisible enemies? How will we ever be able to see them? You got the lens of truth. The truth will set you free. Yes. So now, with the lens of truth, we can see... We can see special things. We can see that there are... No more enemies in here. <laughs> but I did want to kind of... I did want to kind of blow up these rocks. Maybe these rocks have money. Any of you rocks have money? I was hoping for some money around here. No money? Oh! I forgot about this. There is some money. 20 bucks. Just what I was looking for, too. Like, seriously, I, I was... I was really looking for 20 bucks. That's that's really what I wanted. I swear to God. $20 is all I really needed. Kaboom. Oh wow, there's another one here? I'll take it. Oh, and that's 50 bucks. Wow. Was there no, no, there's not one over here? So, like, are you supposed to bomb this one first and think, oh, there's nothing there and I'm not even going to try the other two? Like, is that what they were thinking? As we come out here, and now you can see the path before you with your lens of truth. So jump! Oh no! Don't! 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 Maybe I should take the damn hood off. Yeah. Do you want? That's probably why I'm slipping and sliding. Let's non-hood it this time. Yes. Let's non. Non-hooding it works better. Yeah. Stupid bunny hood. There we go. And what the hell is this guy doing here? He looks like a weird color for a Goan. Anyways, let's talk to- What the- What, what, what? He has disappeared! <gasps> you can only see him with the lens of truth. He's got pretty big boobs, too. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly see me, then follow behind me. Why does everybody want me to follow behind them? Like, seriously, man. It's getting weird. He's a flying go on. Hmm, how odd. And we're just gonna follow behind him. Trying to keep up. Yes, there's a Deku. Ignore him for now. He will be important, but it'll be later. We're gonna try to keep up with this guy. I think you can find. No, arrows. You start to run out of magic. Little snowballs should provide you with the magic you so desire and need along the way. But honestly, I could probably overtake this guy. Like for a ghost that can go. Well, yeah, okay, if you haven't figured it out yet, he's a ghost. You know, for a flying ghost, he's pretty damn slow. And I know where he's going, so I could probably beat him there. Like, oh my god, look at it, dude. Faster, man. Faster! So, so slow. You're so slow. Let's go, ghost man. Alright, where are you going now? And yet again, the following continues. Ignore the ghost. I mean, follow the ghost. Keep your eye on the ghost. Ignore the wolf. There we go. There's some magic. The magic power to see the ghost. Ignore the wolf. Follow the ghost with the boobies. He's got those fat guy boobies, you know? I'm telling you, if I ever get boobies, I'm going on a diet. <laughs> I am a little chunky around the waist. Oh, I know that. But, like, I don't got boobies yet. If I get the boobies, holy shit. You know, that's just no good. Alright, where's the ghost with the most? He's the ghost with the most. The most what? I don't know. He's got the most of what? He's got the most of something. I'll tell you that right now. Where is he going? 
Hold it, hold it. Um, but Goron's can't swim. Where is he going? He's going way up there. Holy shit. We have to climb that fucking thing? Well, that just sucks. So we gotta get over there. Um, try to stay on. Um, yeah, these things kind of float around in the water. I think we can make this jump with the bunny ear. Oh, shit, my crap, my butt. Oh, wow, hold on. How did we get up there? I don't know. There we go. Hold on. No, we need, we need to make. No, hold No, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. Okay, there we go. Huzzah! Oh, huzzah! Okay, I should I should have took the bunny ears off for that one. No, no, don't dive. Hello. I'm so impatient. Now he won't grab the edge. So now I gotta go back to dry land. Like, wouldn't he catch a death in ammonia here? Like, you would think so, right? You would think Link would be dying here of of freezer tood. <laughs> freezer tood? Is that even a word? I don't. Are you serious? Are you are you deadly serious? I missed again. Really? Okay. Like it's freaking below zero big time. I'm jumping into freezing cold waters. Hold on. Let's go for this one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Stay on it. No, hold on. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, go back that way. Oh my god, freezer dude. This is I, I'm floating farther away from my destination. This is no good. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to go over there. Over there. Am I even floating in that direction now? Am I moving towards it? I don't think I am. I really don't think I am. Okay. Is that one moving towards it? Is this one? No. Hold Stay on it. There we go. And jump. There we go. Holy smokes. Like, I've never had so much trouble. Anyways, with your blends of truth, you can see the pillars. Otherwise, you can't see these metal... Who put these metal pillars here? Somebody did. Somebody put these metal pillars on the side. And I don't know how. But they're invisible. Yet again. I know. I know. Don't complain. I'm trying to make logic of it. But somebody did it. Just, just Link, whatever you do, don't put your tongue on the metal pillars. Just just don't. There are different paths to go. Most just lead to a dead end. I kind of think I'm going... No, I'm not. I'm not going the right way. Whoopsie doodle. It's an instant dead end. So let's go to the right. But up is the correct direction you want to go. Up is the correct direction. And there's your ghost. And there's two Goons. One is frozen to friggin' death. This is this is the grave where a Goron hero rests. I came here to put the great hero's memorial, but the return route has been blocked by snow, and I can't get back to the Goron village. And even worse, my brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. Well, it's not far, man. It's just back in there. Why, why don't you go in there? Well, the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone, and I can't move the gravestone that big by myself. But I guess this is what's meant by the Goron saying, There's no use in crying over spilt rocks. Spilt rocks? doesn't even make sense. Why don't you just go in the cave if you're so freaking cold? Seriously, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't take it. I would just go in here. It's gotta be warmer in here. Alright. So here's his grave. Well, I assume it's his grave. Holy shit, he looks spooky. But it's a grave nonetheless of a great Goron hero. And we will find out more about this great Goron hero in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, move!